architect Zed here. Welcome back to another interesting course in Revit. Okay, um, a friend of mine requested for this course. So I'm dedicating this course to my friend, a very close friend. Okay, she asked if I can create more details on Revit structure, Revit um, build, rev building, normal buildings, and um, rendering. She wants to know more on rendering. She wants to create more realism in rendering. Okay, so I'm, I will start this course today. So this course consists of multiplicity of videos. There are a lot of videos, not really much, but a number of counts. So let's start by creating some levels. It will be to the maximum detail, to the best I can. So first go to any elevation you wish let me go to south elevation okay now i want to create many as much levels as i can as much as much as i can but i am going to have a story building okay so if it is a story building escape Make this three thousand five hundred, right? And make this three thousand only. And enter. Okay, sorry. Three thousand five hundred. And let me hit on this one too. let's make it 3000 so I will name this substructure superstructure oh sorry I think this should be the substructure this should be the uh, superstructure and the roof should be on the top okay so create another level let's call it the roof okay so close sorry for that mm, let's call it substructure substructure yes all right and this is the level in between the superstructure sorry the level in between the substructure and the superstructure so it's all the same superstructure okay so i will call this superstructure super structure hit on enter and let's call this one roof so what I did here is a building constituted of substructure superstructure and the, the substructures are the foundation the foundation wall the foundation footing the flooring okay and the superstructure consists of the block work the lintel level the beams columns all the way to the roof lintel okay all the way to the roof lintel and from the roof lintel to above the building are all roof okay so this is what i want to do and i would like to remove this it's a level but i don't want to see the name okay mm. or should i just leave the names for a friend's sake let me just leave the name for reference sake. So I would like to create some levels in between this and this. Levels. Create as much as I can. To identify some things. Okay. Alright. So, 
from the substructure we have the lintel level the crosswalk above the lintel level then the next floor if you understand so from here let me just remove this too I would like to create it one after the other so from here the lintel level the height to the lintel level is 2000 100 but this time around we're not going to put let me, should I, let me put it at 2100 no I'm going to put it at 2500 2500 enter okay so and I don't want the name I just want a level there but if you find it here you will see the level created um, here level 6 if I select it and if I, I have to name it let's say lintel lintel level lintel level you then enter ok and now close it Alright, so from here I have the lintel level to my crosswalk. The lintel level, the most most of the time, the lintel level have a thickness of let's say 150, 200, 250, depending on what, depending on the level, depending on the level of um, detail you want, as in how how strong you want your structure to be. Okay, so the next one should be. 200 let's leave it at 200 okay and now let's name it lintel thickness oh let me see block work cross work urs cross work okay and you don't enter and I do not want the name to here on my elevation okay so that I want my building to be I want this elevation to be clean nice so from the block work to the floor we have um, a very peculiar distance of 800 all right of 800 we have this of 800 so here if i have my block work from here i will have my floor again which is it starts from floor level two level two starts from below the floor as in um below the floor below how how would how do i even say it <laughs> the english is not that good if you have your level one level one starts from flow block work lintel level course work level two starts again from flow course work lintel level another flow again if you understand what i mean so my the next flow will be above my level two okay so i will have another which is the flow i will not put the flow thickness I will just leave it this way. It's okay by me. Or oh, should I just put it? Let me just put it. Let me just have it there. And also this one to the desired thickness. The level, the thickness does not determine how durable or how strong your slab is going to be. No. The level of the level of reinforcement within that slab determines how good your slab or strong it will be, not the level of thickness. The more the thicker, the more thicker your slab is, the more harder or how will I say, the the the, the amount of load is being increased to that um, flow to that exact flow. For example, if you have a flow you would like to calculate the amount of people who are going to stand on that flow so you will not you will definitely add on the initial weight or how will i say the weight of that slab on on 
the same slab itself so plus the weight of the people you know the amount is getting too much so the slimmer your wall the slimmer your slab the more um, durable it will be depending on the level of reinforcement you have within that slab okay so we're going to have this as uh, let's say 250 let me just make it 300 300 and you don't tap you don't enter sorry i said that so this one i will say flow level flow level two the one below is one and uh, and i do not want to see it okay so also i would like to create another one here okay also put it at 300 300 and see let's rename it low level one good and then hit and enter so this is your substructure you have the flow level you have your lintel level you have your coursework then to another flow so another flow then we would like to have another we would like to have another one for the next lintel I'm sorry for the next lintel Let's say lintel level two. I'm oh, sorry. Lintel level two. Yes, I don't want to see the name and take the distance between them. I want it to be two thousand one hundred this time around. I need to be two thousand one hundred. Okay, I hit on enter. So from here, I only have six hundred. Okay, and I need another one uh, exactly in between them. It's going to work for me. Okay, so lintel thickness. Or oh, should I just let me just neglect this lintel? Control Z and let me just put it here. This should be my roofing because I'm going to have a flat roofing, a flat slab roofing. So I will have it as also 300. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. What I mean, so but this should go. I don't need it anymore. This is going to be my roofing. This should be the roof. okay and this should be the superstructure and the one below should be super structure okay so the one beneath this is going to be my substructure which is 600 plus um 450 i think 600 plus 450 i have 1000 let's say 1100 i hit and enter 
and let's name it substructure substructure yes good okay and our flow our level is okay we're well, done with it we have everything intact so guys i think we're going to stop here with this video we have our levels set correctly if you have if you have let's see <clears throat> if this the reason i did this differently and i did this differently you can see i have something different here the level of lintel and fluorine and i have something here different but if you have the same thing um let's say you have um the same uh, set up as this you can have a multiple copy a multiple copy after all Revit has an acute system of of having a multiple copied flow you can create if you have the one flow you can create several flow on top of another Revit has that future so I will have another tutorial later in the future for that but for now let's if you have this setup ready we're going to start making our grid lines and hopefully start uh, hopefully start putting up our columns so thank you very much for watching this video let's see same time tomorrow for another interesting video and continuation of this course goodbye for now thank you